Sometimes it can be nice to have your Rode mics and the Heil PR40s and the shotguns and the lighting and your own podcasting studio. Other times you have a five hour car drive back from the college football playoff national championship where your Georgia Bulldogs won the national champion. <laughs> and you really just need to record a podcast, but you only have your phone. Lucky for us, it's 2022, and not only is it easier than ever to record a podcast from your iPhone, but it's actually viable nowadays. As in, you can right. get a great Random remote recording with you know morning, interview so. guests on your iPhone and editing right on your iPhone without using anchor.fm, by the way. I have a full video on Anchor, I'll leave a link to it here. You can go check that out. But in this video, we're gonna be doing a real podcast that you can ship out to your audience easier than ever before using nothing but your iPhone. Let's go. Before I plug my phone in and show you all the tools and how to do it on the phone, let's talk gear and accessories. So if you have a quiet place, ish to record, you can absolutely use your built-in mic. They're better than ever, but they still pick up a lot of room echo and background noise. So if you're just recording in your bedroom and there's not a whole lot of sound, you could just use that. Now, there are two or three other things. You can use a USB microphone like an ATR 2100. That's my go-to recommendation for all podcasting microphones, but you will need a USB adapter to plug in here. There are other options. I only have a dongle. I don't have one of those USB things, but I do have a really cheap lavalier microphone from Amazon that works fantastic. It is so much better at reducing background noise because it's like, I don't know, it just works. You clip it on your shirt, right? This plugs directly into my dongle here, which plugs into my phone. And this is how I prefer to do things because it's easy on the go. You can literally just do this walking around, just hook it on your shirt and go. And it sounds better than the internal mic. Another option would be to use your headphones that just came with your iPhone. In most cases, those will get less background noise. In a quiet environment, I don't know that it actually sounds that much better than the built-in mic, but that's up to you. You should give it a try. Another option would be to use a DSLR mic, or not really a DSLR, but a, a camera mic. You can pick this one up. This is a new Rode Go 2, I believe, for just under 100 bucks. You can even find them for like 50, 60 dollars. And most of these, you can actually plug into your phone. You need to double check if you're buying on Amazon or whatever, look in the description to make sure it'll work with a phone, but most of them actually do. If you spend money on anything as it relates to a podcast, it should be on audio. So this is your first purchase. Before you do much else, if you're gonna spend a hundred dollars, do it for a microphone. Now let's talk actually using the phone to do a podcast. Now, you can use the default voice memos app. It is still pretty viable if you're doing solo stuff. I will recommend going into your settings though. You can actually find voice memos. Oh, I had it. Voice memos and then audio quality. It's probably gonna be uncompressed. You wanna make sure it says lossless. This will actually record in a WAV format, uh, which will be a lot better for post-production if you're gonna be doing editing of any kind. Make sure to change your audio quality right there. Now, a few other things. I will go here, I'm gonna to go to Auphonic. So I have a video on Auphonic as well. If you don't know what that is, it is kind of like a magic post-production wizard tool that just takes your audio, raw audio, and makes it sound better. It does a little bit of leveling, background noise reduction, compression, limiting, all sorts of fancy stuff to make audio better. They have an iPhone app and it's actually really good. You can just hit record, you could start talking like this. So just using my built-in microphone, I'll actually see if I can get this audio through to you to see what it sounds like. You can pause, you can add chapter, you can resume afterward, and then you can actually hit stop recording down here at the bottom. You can listen to it back. You can also, this is the brilliant part, you can send this straight to your Auphonic account. As in, if you wanted to process this raw audio right here, just like, where is it? You just, I don't even know how to do it. Send here, you, you gotta sign in first, of course. Oh, go back to my recordings. Here's my recording, nine seconds, you share it. You can, you send it to your computer, you can like send it to Auphonic right there. However, I will say that their editing is not the best. So if you are going to edit on your iPhone as well, which I don't recommend anybody do for the most part, but if you wanna keep it simple, if you're, if you're doing like really light edits, Ferret or Ferrite, I don't know how to say it, here in the bottom right corner. I actually paid for this because it's, it's an amazing app. You'll, uh, you can just use the free version though, don't get me wrong. You can record straight to here, you can do separate audio tracks, you can also go through and edit 
much like you would GarageBand or Final, not Final Cut Pro, what is it? Logic Pro or Adobe Audition or all these other things. You, it's actually a really great editor. You can just hit this button right here. Now I am recording an audio podcast. Okay, now I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Here's my recording. You can go into edits, turn this sideways. Is that gonna work? Yep, it did work actually. Uh, they have amazing tools in here. Compression, limiting, all sorts of effects. It's a really great app. I'm not gonna do the full tutorial on how to edit using Ferret in, for Ferrite in this uh, YouTube video, but you can find plenty. And the last one I really wanna talk about is Riverside.fm. So full disclosure, Riverside.fm is sponsoring this YouTube video. So I will leave a link in the description below. Please go tell them I sent you. I use, River, I've used Riverside.fm well before they paid me to like make this video, by the way. So I've used them, I recommend them. I recommended them way before they sponsored me. I just wanna, you know, trust me, they're good. I use them to record all my interviews. Video, live streaming, they have an amazing tools here. And now they have iPhone stuff. If you wanna do remote recording, you use Riverside.fm because that's the only one at the moment that could do this really well. And by really well, I mean record uh, up to 4K video, uncompressed audio, WAV formats, uh, it stores the files locally, meaning if you have poor internet connection, you're not gonna like lose anything. It'll upload it separate. Uh, it's just it's just phenomenal. Riverside is phenomenal. It's the best out of any of the remote recording softwares and you can do it from your phone. It's absolutely ludicrous. So I'm actually gonna log into my account here. By the way, you could also use this for solo shows. I don't have a guest at the time, you know, right now as I'm recording this video. So here's all my like different studios and interviews and stuff I've done. I'm actually just gonna go into my normal studio and I'll type in my name. You will enable access to the microphone and camera there. Go back to Riverside, it should be good. There we go, now I'm in the green room where I can check my settings and mute and all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and join. Again, I don't have a guest right now, else they would pop up on screen. They can use the app, they can use their browser or whatever, it doesn't matter. Works really well. I'm actually just gonna hit record here. Actually, it's gonna give me the countdown. Hello and welcome to the Do You Even Blog mobile. That's right, I'm on the go using my iPhone to do this podcast and it's gonna be great. You can see the number of guests up in the right corner. You can see the upload percentage, which is constantly changing. Uh, I can mute my mic, I can stop my video, I can turn the camera around, I can make it full screen. Uh, I don't know, it's just an amazing little app. <laughs> really dig this. This is using the built-in audio on my iPhone, of course, but you can plug in your like cheap loves and cheap lavaliers and just go from there. All right, recording saved. I can now just log in through the browser and edit it from there. I can use the magic editor that Riverside.fm has, which is incredible, especially if you have like a guest that like mixes the video and audio and stuff. It works really well. So use this, you can use it solo. You can also use it with guests. Now, a few more tips, use airplane mode or silence all the notifications, do not disturb mode or whatever. Make sure you still have Wi-Fi going, obviously, if, if you're doing like remote interviews or whatnot, but turning off like cell service through airplane mode can actually make a better recording. You wanna avoid interference if at all possible. I've heard from a few people that they've, they've gotten some weird audio because of that airplane mode. Also, I've said this before, but it's worth repeating. Be in a quiet place. Try and get in quiet surroundings, especially if you're gonna use that built-in mic on your phone. It's going to pick up everything if you're in a car, trust me, I know, or <laughs> walk around on the sidewalk or airplane, you know, whatever. Try and use a mic if you're in those circumstances, but if you're not, if you're just at home, try and surround yourself with soft things and get in a quiet place. Also, headphones. I didn't mention this before. If you have a mic, it's probably gonna use the one and only you know, opening in your iPhone, but you can always use Bluetooth headphones and it should probably work okay. If you're doing a remote interview, especially you wanna hear the other person, make sure you have headphones. Get some Bluetooth headphones, or if you're using the built-in mic, obviously you can just plug your headphones right into here. Or you can use the headset that came with your iPhone so you have the mic and the headphones and you're good to go. Next up is obviously gonna be editing. I'm gonna leave a link to some videos that I've done on podcast editing. I do this faster and lazier than most podcasters, I think. So I want to help people save time on their editing process. Go find some tips and tricks in those videos. I'll leave links to those. And thank you so much to Riverside.fm for sponsoring today's YouTube video. I love them. I've used them for over a year before they even started sponsoring these videos. So I recommend them fully for all your remote recording needs and for podcasting on your iPhone. It's truly amazing. And they're also releasing new features like every couple of months 
which I can't say about other podcasting software companies. So go check them out, dyeb.link slash Riverside. That's dyeb.link slash Riverside. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you. Adios.